Hello. Right, I'm going to. <laughs> the last video Tintin, Asterix, and Doctanian was edited using CapCut. And this is how I did it. I'll click up here for text. At four second mark, I want to see text. I want to lock this visibility point. <laughs> so if I arrow right, if I arrow left once, to, so it's the set the frame before that. I want this to be invisible. Okay. So what I've done there is I've created. Um, there's going to be a change on this effect. So at this frame before the text, I don't want that to appear, I want it to be completely invisible. Okay. So, and automate also this auto saves, so you don't have to keep saving it. Right. Now I can get rid of that clip. It's because I've got it's because I've got that clip selected for work, which I've just done. If I click away from it into some space it goes now if I press play it's a bit choppy because it's still um, proxying right that stopped the flow of things and so let's carry on ah this needs to be black so I'm going to use the second keyframe where there's text so with this text, there's video. So it's the same, it's similar. Now I have to come onto here. I'm just gonna lower the opacity to zero. Again, when I say opacity, I mean the visibility. Right, I think two seconds, and I change it around. Right, it's 201, I'm just gonna be potentic and make that two. Put a keyframe here. That should be 100%. That's when the text comes in. It's going to be a cut. I need to go down one. So if I go left, that becomes 129. Invisible text. No, low down the opacity. Now I've got to get rid of these two keyframes. The fade's at the beginning. So it's going to be black for two seconds and then text. There we go. So we've solved the situation with the black at the beginning and text on black. Right, this isn't the text I'm going to use. That was just for setup purposes. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to type shot on Samsung Galaxy A54 But well, I move this up to here and the position becomes 942 so 0 to 942 so I want half of that so it's there so half of 942 is 471. So I can just type that in. Enter. So there we go. That's our first text. Now I need another text to come in. Let's cut it. And I want to move this up here if I can. Yeah, great. Now this text will be... Um, Don't worry about this, I will drag it across after I've sorted out this second text. So up here, I'm going to type edited with cap cut. Now the Y position, if I were to drag this across, we're going to have a mess. See, gobbledygook. 
So I need to move this down to zero, the default. There you go. Select the text effect. Go straight to opacity and make it invisible. And then we want to go to six. After that's when we see the text at six. That gives us one second for it to transition from black to text. This is correct. I have to put a keyframe regardless, and that has to be a hundred. But I don't have a keyframe to. See. If I go back to the beginning again to number uh, fifth second, I hadn't made it invisible. I should have keyframed it. But because I've keyframed that, I can just move this back to zero. So there's nothing there. Uh, if I click away, we've got that text. And then suddenly, oh, we want to see the three seconds. So we're going to play it from the beginning again. Now we've got our intro, the space bar. Right, now we need to get rid of this text. If I press W here, I'll get rid of the text. See? Now, I, could, I, do, I have to do the same here. I've just realized, if I just undo that, if I was to select with the Control key, or the Command key for using the Mac, now I've got both of them selected. I've sort of grouped them as one. If I was to press W now, it does the job for me. So now we need a keyframe to reverse these two. So that should be zero because we're at the end of the mono fade out. But I just need to go to 629. This should be 100%. It should be normal. There we go. And while it's there on that position, I'm going to click underneath, do the same, add a keyframe. Because it's the first one, I'm starting here, not here. That's why it said 100%. And I go back to here. I click on the next keyframe, click underneath, and then reduce it. I right, just click away so it's got a clean screen. Again, if we press play, of course, when it's poxy, it'll be much quicker. That's it. Now, um, I don't want to fade in the video. I want it to boom appear. I want it, want it to be a cut. I just change the opacity, the visibility to zero. That's it. I'm going to keep it there. And what was it? Ten, wasn't it? Bang on this time. So I can do that, do a cut, W. Okay, so we want to turn that into black. Okay, now we go back to here and we bring it back into the timeline. I don't think you can overwrite it, I think it jumps to the end. Let's just say it's been black for a few seconds and then it comes here. Okay. okay. That was quite a jump, wasn't it? I thought it boxed oh. So there you go. Got two seconds. 
So imagine this music after about a second. La 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 la, and then it kicks in. Now I need to edit this because um, it's very raw. So now we come to the nuts and bolts of the edit. Got the inspiration from George Lucas in a galaxy far, far away. So it goes up, it's on there. It scrolls down like it does some science fiction films. There we go. Got Professor Calculus, Captain Haddock, Tintin, and Snowy. So I'm going to go up here to text, grab the default and put it there. Oops, did it lock? Sure he did. And we want to say Tintin Oops. I don't know if I can put and go. <laughs> Can I make this a bit smaller, I wonder? Yes, oh, I never knew that before. That's good, isn't it? Tintin and Co. Control B is a shortcut. Because I don't want to keep this bit. And of course, I can drag this out now to there. Let's go back up again. There is no settlement where it goes down. So that's going to be it. All right, I'm going to press Q, which gets rid of, use the mouse here. I'm going to get rid of this bit. It's no good. So Q will delete it and probably move this to the join, to the cut. There we go. So now we've got Cocophonics, Obelix, Asterix. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention Snowy the dog. Dogmatics. Dogmatics, dogmatics, dogmatics. So I'm going to, it's already selected, so I'm going to do Control C for Windows, Control V or Command V will paste it at the playhead. And of course that is not Tintin, it's Asterix. It's been ages since I read any of these books. Excuse me, I haven't had breakfast yet, despite the cut. I'm too keen to do this. So now we can just drag it somewhere. How about here? And the same here, probably here. Move it to here. I think this video is nearly finished. I'm going to do a cut there. So I just select the video, Control B. And there we go. Press Q to get rid of the left bit. Oh, uh, these characters: Pothos, Athos, Aramis. Is it Athos? I don't know. I think Aphos is the big one. And Juliet. 
and Dogtanion. There's no little dog because they're dogs. <laughs> but there was a mouse. Still, never mind. No mouse. Now I need to put some text here. I think it's still in the clipboard. So if I do control V. See. Control V. Yeah. Right, so this bit will be dog dog tanya. <laughs> dog tanya. So I'm going to have to uh, move it a little. I think it snaps to the borders as well. So there we have it, uh, all the way to there. Oops, I keep thinking, keep pressing L, it's space. The Musker Hounds. Where's Dog Tanyan though? There's Dog Tanyan. There's no sound in this, so I might as well mute the whole track. So I'm going to come over here and mute the whole track. And then move it. Maybe I should move this. You've guessed it. Up here. See how fun video editing is? But it's very time consuming. Alright. When the hand comes in, I'm going to cut it out. So before the hand appears, I'm going to do a split here. So I don't want to get rid of either side of the split. I need to press S because shortcut is S. Here it's control B. I'm going to delete this bit. So press Q, press space, and then we've got we've got Juliet. I think I made a mistake there. So here's the next set. Um, the connection here was sidekick. So for Tintin, it was Captain Haddock. For Dog Tanyan, it was Juliet. And for Asterix, it wasn't Coco Phonix. It was Obelix. I might superimpose this with Obelix. And superimpose there. That's going to be something I've never done before. I might put some text here saying the sidekicks. I'm going to put a cut here. I think we're done with the sidekicks. Again, select this clip, Control B. So you get an idea how easy it is and how to get over obstacles if you're from another video editor. See, it's all wrong. That should have been Coco Phonics. So I need to, I might use this image to overlay the previous one, the previous mistake, and then vice versa. So at this point on the timeline, select it, and then press Q. Right, we'll stop it there and press Control B. Right, on to the next bit. I think it's the final bit. There's a clue up there. Q, I want to get rid of what's in front of that. So let's play it. There we go, the main characters, the stars of the show. You 
see. So you've got the stars of the show. You've got the sidekick. This is it. We've come to the end of the video. Why am I taking so long? There we go. All right, it ends here now. So I'm going to press W to get rid of this section. So now I'm going to add in some music. I'm going to use their library. This is a this is a first. I haven't added audio, so let's have a look. So what sort of music do I like jazz? Let's have a look. So we search for calm. Let's have some calm music. A day in my life, relax, chill vibes, aesthetic. Aesthetic, let's check that out. I like to hear it. Reminds me of Twisted Nerve by Bernard Herrmann. Now, how do I do this? Plus, add to track. There we go, done. I think it's quite loud though, isn't it? Let's see. Spacebar. <laughs> I noticed that I can put the mouse on the sound track. It gives me two arrows so I can uh, I can play with the volume. So let's play it. Just get rid of those. Plus I'll be speaking. Let's go to the beginning. Now we're going to edit in real time. So as I move along now, I'll be tidying it up. And when I get when I get to the end, here you'll be ready for export up here. So let's go. Where's the playhead? At the beginning, so let's press. This is now actual. My first thought was I need to put a title here. The Greek 2 should be ample. There we go. Tw oops, 12. Let's go to text and I'll just press plus I think this time it should go above it should go to T it should go there this is not a bad editor you know really it's really fun really easy we've got some preset styles here and I need something that is to do with TV oh let's drop down Oh, wait a minute, text is over here. Now, I should have used a template, really. Do I want effects? I think if I click on it, it should give me a sample, a preview. Right, let's try something more uh, art. Something like that, maybe. <laughs> Default text. That looks good. I'll bear that in mind. 3D. 
That looks like Pulp Fiction to me. Let's see what pops out. That looks like Pulp Fiction. Basic. That's tempting. Difficult. So got a whole section for pink. A whole section for green. Why green? What's so big about green? That looks good. Yes, I like that. I'm not 100% sure, but at this oh, let's add it. I guessed as much. I need to get rid of that backspace. It can stay on that track, it's already there. Right, the size looks right, but as it's a title and it's probably centered, I might give each line its own, each word even, <laughs> its own. Select the new effect, go down to opacity, there we go, we need that to be blank. So this should be 100%, okay, there we go back to the beginning, arrow up. And this should be zero because it's blank. And there we have it. Let's get rid of that white border by deselecting. It does move the, the playhead though, that's the only thing. Right, so. Let's start with the text and then we carry on. Now this is going to be once the hand goes away I'm going to bring in a text. And these are going to be called the pets. Shall I give it a stroke? Make it no, no stroke. Mm. 
there we go, that's dead center. I'm going to add 10 frames to this, make it 37, so it's like a beat. The hand pulls out, beat, then we've got the title. The beat is normally 10 frames. seven here now select that press Q select away pressed I might extend that to the end this is a good editor actually Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a split here, not a W, because I might need to stretch it back a bit. Backspace. Oh dear, of course you can't have spaces. So carrying on. Press Q, deselect, let's carry on. Right, I'm going to put the text here, and I want it to be 4923, that's that beat. You add the beat. Right. So now I'm going to select that, copy it, and paste. And these are the sidekicks. Although that's wrong, so I need to fix that now. The sidekicks. Right. So I want to be clever here, I want to right. That is a mistake. I haven't found out how to do masking. Gosh. As you can see, I've added a few more screenshots because I was looking, I was looking at this and I thought I'm going to use him. I'm going to mask this particular image because of the background and do the same with this guy. Has the same background so let's have a look so there you go so there, so there we go. it's not brilliant but I suppose I could use the feather I used mask and there is a feather so I just click away a sec the thing is I don't want to see that border I can't see the feather I move it up to five Oh, it looks better, doesn't it? If I do Control Z, oh, it's much better. Control Y, or is it Shift Control Z? Shift Control Z. So. 
So the feather is pretty good. I didn't think of that. Maybe if I do it to three. Wow. How about that? I didn't think of that. It just occurred to me. Let's make that free as well. That was a bit of a spoiler there. I wanted to surprise you. Ah. Okay, so let's have a look. So here's the correct versions now. I hope I haven't distracted the viewer with what was going on. One more look at this. The pets. The sidekicks. The secondary sidekicks. That's incredible, isn't it, for a first attempt? Okay, I could have left it running, but let's pause for a moment and reflect, get into track. So let's carry on. Before I carry on, I need a caption. These are the showstoppers. Stars of the show. So I'm going to grab this. Copy it. Now where does it start? Let's have a look. It stops. Right, there we go. Here we go. Let's settle down. Let's get asterisk into frame. Oh, Asterix is not in the frame. Oh, crikey, never mind. So, then you come, stop. Let's play. Now, Control V. These are the heroes. Stars of the show. Need to move it somewhere. Right, that's bang middle, but it's on Asterix foot. So that's it. Um, I'm going to keep it there until it moves up. Once it moves up, the second it moves up, that's it. That's when it stops. Although that was a bit, that was a bit, um, okay, so it carries on. <laughs> see the music the music track ended there it's just luck that it should finish on time a few moments silence as we go back to the start so let's say up arrow down arrow up arrow is 22 29 
that's 25, that's three seconds. That's exactly how much I give for a fade. Wow, that's spooky. Now I need to do a fade out. So I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to go back three seconds. It snapped right there. Oh, because it, yes, of course, of course. Arrow up takes us to the end of a clip. In this case, the audio. So that is still selected. I'm going to put. I don't have to add a keyframe. I just need to change what's gone before. That's got to be full visibility. So here we go. Let's do it. And that's it. So it's done. All I can do now is hit export. So let's do that. That's everything in a nutshell. That's me, how I edited the previous video using CapCut. Maybe it's inspired you, I don't know. But uh, there you have it. I'm glad I did it. It was a plan, an idea. Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. Oh, there were a few things as well. I'm going to stop this export because there were a couple of things I need to, uh, to correct myself on. Ah. I've been calling this character Cocophonics. It's not. He's called Getafix. Right, so yeah, I've just remembered. On to the export again.